There have been many times in my career where I have come into people's lives as they are actively going through some sort of a technological crisis. We keep a lot of information and important information on our phones these days, and when a disaster happens and something is deleted, it can be devastating. So today what I want to do is show you all a really amazing tool that frankly has many, many different types of uses. I have recommended this software when, um, sorry it's not exactly a happy topic, but if someone's died and they left a voicemail for someone and they want to save that file so they, ha they remember what their voice sounds like. Uh, you can use the software to extract text messages, uh, which can be useful in many different types of situations. Uh, you can recover attachments, notes, contacts, lots more. This software basically does everything. I'm going to show you how to do it coming up next on techtalkamerica.com. The software that we are talking about today is called PhonePaw, and it's available for both Mac and Windows, and you will find links to everything that you need in the description of the video. So I wanted to cover this video because I've been there. I know what it's like to lose everything, and this software is awesome for reversing that horrible stress. What I love about PhonePaw is that it, it takes a very complex process and makes it incredibly user-friendly so that any of you can do it as you're about to see. Pricing ranges. Uh, it depends on how many computers you need to put it on, how many devices you plan on recovering data from. So you'll find all of that information on their website. Again, you know where the links are. So let's go over how to use it. Once you have installed PhonePaw into your computer, you're going to plug in your device to your computer and click the Start Scan button. This software can uh, recover anything from an iPhone, iPad, or iPod as well. On some devices, you will need to unlock the screen and uh, there's going to be a little window that's going to pop up. You just need to click Trust in order to proceed and at that point click Start Scan. The scanning process can take a while. Um, on some of your phones, it might take a few minutes. On others, it can take upwards of an hour. So don't be shocked if it does take a long time. It's a very thorough process. Uh, when I did it to my phone to uh, do this class, it took about 25 minutes. When you're done, this is the kind of screen that you're going to see. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different kinds of files that you can recover, including, of course, photos, videos, text messages, text message attachments, contacts, call history, voicemails, WhatsApp messages, notes, calendar appointments, reminders, <gasps> voice memos, Safari, web browsing data, bookmarks, and app documents, whatever that is. Um, so as you can see here, it is incredibly thorough. To see specifically what you can recover, you can click on any of these categories here and it will show you the type of data that you can get back. Um, at this point, I would like to make a special note for any of you who might be in this process trying to recover text message data. When you click into the category, it's going to have automatically everything selected. Undo it. Go through the messages, find the one that you're very specifically looking for, and only check that box. Just trust me, if you don't do this, it is a nightmare to go through the data when it comes back to you because it's in a CSV file. Not fun to sort through. So if you get it just narrowed down to the key message, you're good to go. So you're going to check the boxes next to each type of file that you want to save, and when you're done, you're going to click uh, recover, sorry, down here at the bottom right. You'll need to tell it where you want to save all your data. Uh, the default location is the documents folder, and thankfully they do uh, create a folder for you automatically, so pretty simple. Click OK, I'm uh, sorry, click recover and wait. From here, when it's done, uh, it will automatically organize all the recovered data into folders, making it a lot easier to go through and process, and at that point you are good to go. Uh, can we pull up the main screen here real quick? Um, I just want to very quickly mention, uh, this software does do other things, including uh, recovering data from uh, an iTunes backup file, as well as iCloud uh, uh, backup data. I don't think a lot of you really care about these features. I want to at least mention that it does do it. I have not personally needed to use these features, so I haven't tested them, but I just figured I'd mention them anyway. Finally, I just wanted to say thank you all for tuning in. If, you, if this software saves your butt, we would love to hear your story. So if you don't mind, take a couple of minutes, 
Tell us your story, leave it in the comment section below. We really want to try to produce great content for all of you guys and feedback helps us with that process. Um, hit the little like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking there. And we will see you next time. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.